All right, little little backstory is what's going on today. It's Sunday, December 10th. Me and Kirsten's back there somewhere. And Tyler, we're out here. We're shed hunting with the dogs. Looks like they already found a pelvis bone. Some other stuff. Um, left the house at about four o'clock this morning. We live in the uh, we live in the valley, so every time we go shed hunting, it's it's always a little bit of a jaunt to get over here. So we tend to uh, get up pretty early. Yeah, hope to hope to find some good stuff today. Keep you guys posted. Wish us luck. about 14 degrees out here so it's gonna be pretty chilly but walking up these hills should get us pretty warm we all have our orange on me the dogs Kirsten decided to wear all camo today so that I could lose her also she doesn't have a GPS or a walkie-talkie so we have to stay in yelling distance put her between Tyler and I she's a uh, He's way down on the end. What we pretty much do every time we come out here is we get online, walk a certain direction and see what we find. Also, sad news, we're missing a member of our crew today, excuse me, Mr. Sam Haley and or at Addicted Antlers on Instagram. He's having some uh, back pain and couldn't make it, which is too bad. We also, we normally, normally when we come out here, it's me, Kirsten, our two dogs, Rio and Justice. I'm sure you guys have all seen her. Got my best friend, Tyler, his wife, Tessa, and Sam and his wife, Chloe. It's our normal crew, but sometimes it's pretty hard for us to get, get all together and coordinate. This shed hunt is also brought to you in part by McDonald's. It's a... Uh, it's what fuels us, keeps us going. That and a lot of caffeine. Our first mishap of the day. Put these vests on them so they don't get shot. Somebody's tangled up. Somebody's tangled up in the tree. Come here. Come here. I've always been told that finding balloons is good luck. Found my first balloon of the day. This is what happens, people, when you let your balloons go, float up, and drop down out in the woods, make a mess. You got this last year's a couple two marks. See, told you. Find a balloon, turns into sheds. Nice one. Found this five minutes ago. I found this five minutes ago. Balloons, sheds, they work. change up game plans here. We're all gonna rally here. And we're in this nice big opening and there's a bull, not bull elk, a depression in the ground back here. We're gonna split up and grid through this area, see if we can scoop anything up. Well, I don't wanna call it a failure. It's more like we successfully determined that there are no more sheds in this area which is a win, because then we won't come back here this year. Well, I'm about to sacrifice this old base here in hopes that we find more. By giving one, hopefully we find more. Amen. You're not in trouble. Looks like it's about time for a wardrobe change. Some of us don't have nice jackets. 
I'm a little jealous of Rio's pink jacket though. What a good girl. Sitting there waiting for mom. Hurry up, mom. I'm ready to go find some sheds. Father's claiming to have found a shed. So I'm gonna walk over to him and see what it really is. He said pretty confidently after pulling up his binos, got one. So this could be embarrassing or this could be great. What happened? Oh, Sorry. A winter's morn. Sorry, where is it? That's right here. Right so. there? Massive. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so big. Hmm. Well, the dogs are interested. Yeah, that's what I said. False alarm I said number. The dogs will get one. She found a head. Let's see. Looks like some sort of cattle. Perhaps, uh, oh, wait a second. This used to be an elk deadhead and somebody skull plated it out. It's see so the, thoughtful. See the cuts there? Well, this could have been a cool find at one point. Looks like maybe a cougar kill. Well, I'm taking one for the team. Ryan in the back with the dogs. Relocating positions. Look how cute they're being. Relocating positions because we probably just did about, I don't know, what'd you say? Six miles? Yep. Six miles and yep. found one shed and a base so we're gonna relocate we're running out of time because the sun sets at I don't know one o'clock nowadays because daylight savings so we're relocating we're gonna leave Kirsten and the dogs at the car because the dogs are pooped and someone's got to stay back and watch them so Kirsten's taking one for the team hats off to her and Tyler and I are gonna drop packs and we're gonna do a speed hike and hopefully we find some more stuff. True Shed Hunters pound pre-workout before going on speed hikes. Ah, cause we're crackheads. Just kidding, don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Drink pre-workout though. This right here is how I know that I don't miss any sheds. Cause I find the smallest. This area looks so, so perfect to find something in. It seems like every time you're in an area that looks perfect, you don't find it. And then when you're in areas where you least expect it, it's where you find something. Maybe you scoop up something in here. Well, our final final walk wasn't as uh, good as we wanted it to be, but we ended up with two for the day. Nice four point in this little, little tiny guy. But you know, it was a beautiful day in the woods. Nice, cool, crisp, blue sky, sunny, with friends and dogs. It's a good time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.